What is the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy, Valandis. I should really start doing videos more, like, early in the morning like this when the light's coming right through this window. It's some good light in here when it's, you know, the, the, the crack of dawn. We're recording this at 9.30 in the morning. We're getting to it early today. So anyway, I kind of just wanted to make this video about, like, kind of the things that I pick up or, like, the film photography related things that I pick up. Cause not everything film related that I get, I make a video on. Like these film photography books, like I get a lot of these and I don't make videos on them. So like nobody really knows that I have them except the people that see them, which is just like a mall and like a few of my friends. But um, yeah, I do collect a lot of like film photography books. So um, a lot of cool ones too, and a lot of insightful things and information in some of these books. A lot of the cameras that I get, like that I may or may not do a video on, like this one right here. I also have this large format field camera right here. Kind of just wanted to sit down and talk to y'all about some of the film stuff that I have and some of the like things that like, I don't know, that I like kind of like to show off. I guess. <laughs> Y'all all seen this. This is the SpongeBob 35mm film camera that I did kind of like a review on. Don't need to really go much into that, but I did just recently obtain it, so I am showing it. Honestly, should have kept it in a package. You know what I'm saying? It was fun to shoot with it and all that, but the packaging was really nice. It would have been dope to just like keep it in a package. Honestly, if there was two of them, I would have bought both of them so I can have one to shoot with and the other one I can have just like in the packaging. SpongeBob camera is honestly a disposable camera, but am I a real film photographer if I didn't do the disposable um, photo challenge in a YouTube video yet? Nah, not really. So I'm gonna be doing a video with the Kodak Fun Saver very, very soon. This is a Minolta SRT202. What's cool about the Minolta is um, it comes with the original um, manual i've been doing research on like the, the more like when you about to buy a camera you you do research on it right so when you do research on older film cameras um the manual usually pops up and these manuals back in the day like when they were like um making these film cameras and stuff like that like they were really dope and like cool and just like very pleasing to like look through like this is a manual i would love to like look through it makes me want to like learn stuff and just like really see how the camera operates and functions might do a video on it soon i did load up some film in here and i shot with it i shot a few photos with it um and just yeah might do a video with it might not i don't know honestly i do want to eventually give this camera away to maybe someone who wants to get into film photography and because i think this would be a very good beginning film like intro to film photography kind of camera kind of just like learning the basics of film photography this these style of cameras i feel like the ae1 the canon ae1 and just like other style cameras that look just like this feel just like this operate just like this are very good cameras to learn with what's cool what's also cool about this camera is that it comes with well the dude told me it came with these are like the original batteries for it and um not sure if they still work or if they still got some juice in them or not but these are the batteries that were around during that time for uh this camera so that's also cool i'll find out a way to give this to one of the subscribers or something like that so if you are a subscriber i guess be looking out for this because i'm going to be giving it away the video about the contacts g1 will be coming out i think thursday um very good camera very amazing camera i don't want to talk about it too much because i talked about it a lot in the video that's up and coming but if you follow me on twitter or instagram in the two days or three days that i've had it you you know that i love this camera and it's a very good camera and yeah that's the video for that is coming very soon this is nice camera bro love this camera finally on our list of cameras is <laughs> 
this large format field camera. Now this is not my camera, this is Sam's camera. Um, I'm doing a video on it. I'm going to be taking some large format photos of my dad for um, my book that I've been working on for years, it feels like, but I kinda wanna buckle down and start getting photos for my book. I keep talking about it more and more and I've been finding myself doing more and more kind of work for that book. Now, a lot of the work in my book, I want to be candid and kind of just like things I capture, but things that I do want in my book, in particular, portraits of my parents. So um, I do want to take a portrait of my dad on large format because I think it'd be very cool and just like funny. My dad's funny. I'm going to be doing a video on the large format and the pictures that I take of my dad with the large format camera. So um, I guess be looking out for that video i don't know what kind of large format this camera is toyo field 45a says it right there all you got to do is look sometimes i'm assuming but for what large format cameras are this is a very small large format camera for well smaller than the ones i've seen and has have worked with so um, yeah, it folds up into like this nice little briefcase. I will assemble it for y'all really quick. Pull this up right here, Sam said. Yeah, and um, yeah, there's a lot of other things that go into it, but you know, this is pretty much all set to go on a tripod and shoot with. This first book is called um, Photographer's Handbook. It teaches you about death of field, um, a guide to color films, and just like very good, just like these books, just as like the books that they made back then, just like they look very good, like the photos in them. Like these, these books are like actually inspiring to look through and just like kind of um, like interesting to think about like the things they tried to do for people back then who were shooting film or just like new into taking photos and stuff like that. I felt like it was a lot more just like information and stuff like that. There's a lot of information, but you kind of like, there's a lot of information now, but you kind of have to like go and look for it. So it's just a little bit different, but this photographer's handbook book is very, a very good book. So this book right here is called The Camera and I just picked this book up recently. I, I don't really know what it's about. I'm going to have to read it, I guess, and like do more kind of just like, I don't know. I just need to do a little bit more digging and kind of get my history lesson on what this book is about. But from what like, when I was skimming through it at the uh, film store, I assume that it's about, cause they had a bunch of these books. Like it was in every single book, it's called The Camera, but every single book has a different camera on the front of it. So what I was taking away from that was the photos that were taken in this book were taken with the camera that's on front up, that's on the front of this. And um, I don't know if it's one photographer or anything like that. That could all be wrong and I can be like telling y'all the wrong information, but I do not know and I'm trying to figure it out right now myself i'm very i'm very interested in this book because i'm skimming through it you know i read with my eyes first because you know it definitely like caught my attention i was like i wanted to know more about what this book was about and what was going on in this book there's like some really great and just like powerful images in here and a lot of them most of them all of them for the most part are in black and white what i seen like this photo is absolutely wild um i have no idea like what's going on or anything like that. But that's why um, I opened this book and like low key, it was like the first page I opened up to and I was like, oh no, I need this book. Like, I don't, um, I don't I don't know what what's going on, but it's a, it's a very good book. I would definitely like encourage anybody to look these books up and to like do a little bit more information. Also, if you have a little bit more information about the book, please write it down in the comments so people can, you know, um, can know and you know, since, since I didn't do a very good job of letting people know what the book was about. Um, yeah, but the, the images are, the images in here are just like ridiculously like amazing. The more and more I do film photography, the more and more like I wanna know about just like things that, like how things used to be and how things were when other photographers, like when film was like the majority and everybody shot film because digital wasn't a thing. Just like seeing photos from that time and just like hearing stories and 
the photographers from that time sharing stories or their techniques or anything from that time always intrigues me and inspires me. And the passion I have for learning about photography and photographers are just like at a new level way more than it has ever been and i don't know if that's because i shoot film now and i'm just like interested in it or if it's like i'm getting older and i'm like i want to read more books it's about, about the things that i'm interested in um this book is just like a book i thought was cool it was about printing color negatives and it just goes into just like all the things and just like temperatures and just like formulas you need to you know develop film and i guess print them in a larger format all yeah just a vivitar manual and hand like accessory book <laughs> for the most part but this is another book about cameras what do you know but it is mainly about just um it's not a very big book but it's just like the internals of a camera and just like how cameras like work pretty much literally it's how cameras work so if y'all kind of want to see more of just like me and the things that i buy for absolutely no reason over a month's time let me know i might do one at the end of every month um, this this video is going to come out, I guess, September 1st. So it'd be like kind of a recap of the things that I bought that month. If there's any film books y'all think I should check out or any ones that y'all think I would like, um, please let me know. Every Friday, I do make videos that have nothing to kind of do with photography. They're called Family Friday. So it's more just like a it's more like a personal part of my life that I share alongside with my photography, because although this is a photography channel, I do want everybody to know that I am a human being with other interests and other things that I am interested in. So like on Fridays, I do do videos where they're not necessarily photography related, but they are a part of me. Like my friends are featured in the videos. Amal is also always featured in the videos. We cook, we go on bike rides. We do regular people shit that I like to do. I'm trying to change this narrative that people have to be and only show one thing on the internet just because that's what they are known for. Or that's what people watch them for it doesn't always have to be about photography for me because in life it's not always about photography for me so so yeah if you want to watch some of those videos there they come out every single friday I haven't missed a friday since we've been doing it so ah uh, yeah that's that anyway if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you are not subscribed to the channel please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button it's always and truly gratefully appreciated if you are subscribed please ring the notification bell so you get notified every single time i drop a new video that's also always truly appreciated anyway um yeah got a lot to do today that is why i am up so early but let's get out here and go do some shit. Mm -hmm.